Hello, this is Jay, and here is a weekly briefing from Pangyo Techno Valley. First, here are five main news. The Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator, GBSA, welcomed a Danang Vietnam delegation at Pangyo Techno Valley to explore cooperation in IT and software. Discussions centered on possible partnerships between Danang's High Tech Park and Pangyo Techno Valley, focusing on technology sharing, investment strategies, and accelerator initiatives. The meeting provided networking opportunities, highlight local business environments, and aim to enhance relationships and help local companies enter the Vietnamese market. Next, Park Jin Suk, CEO of Urban Sharing Economy, spearheads the FacePay system, which uses facial recognition technology for payments in self-service vending machines and stores. This system boosts security by storing encrypted facial data rather than photos, building consumer trust. With government backing and strategic partnerships, Urban Sharing Economy is pushing to expand these systems quickly to help overcome labor shortages and reduce retail costs. Furthermore, SMT has launched the Water End series, smart devices for managing water quality. Inspired by personal struggles with skin conditions caused by rusty water during the COVID-19 pandemic, these devices run on energy harvesting technology and do not require batteries. They track water quality flow and temperature, offering real-time data and alerts. Having recently won the CES Innovation Award and with upcoming trials at Starbucks USA, SMT is set to grow its market presence in the U.S. and globally. Our next news, the Gyeonggi Business and Science Accelerator held the Gen AI Public Data Startup Competition at the Gyeonggi Startup Campus in Pangyo Techno Valley, attracting 85 teams and selecting eight finalists. The competition featured startups using public data and generative AI, focusing on concept planning and product or service development. Innovations showcased included Healing Hearts platform for visually impaired masseurs and Team Bearable's AI-based career exploration tool for students. With a panel of expert judges and citizen evaluators, the event aimed to promote new growth opportunities in Gyeonggi province by leveraging AI and public data. Following this, Lee Jun Woo, Director of Techno Valley Innovation at the Gyeonggi Business and Science Accelerator, spoke about the key role of Pangyo Techno Valley in supporting startups at the Pangyo Global Media Meetup. He emphasized the focus on early stage companies and the range of programs designed to enhance investment opportunities and international exposure. Highlighting the importance of international collaborators, such as potential partnerships with Paris and participation in events like VivaTech, GBSA aims to strengthen global ties and help startups expand internationally. And now, here are five headlines. The 2024 Gyeonggi Startup Summit, co-organized with Spain's South Summit, will be held on September 25th through 27th at the Suwon Convention Center and the Startup Campus in Pangyo inviting startups for Asia's first international AI-focused event aimed at global expansion. This summit highlights AI and deep tech sectors, offers free exhibition space to eligible startups, and aims to foster entry into the European market and global networking with an expected 20,000 attendees. Phobcon, a construction tech startup specializing in a vision AI-driven auto calculation solution for analyzing blueprints, has secured seed funding from, a, from Mark and & Company and the Yoon Min Foundation, and has been selected for the Little Penguin program. The company aims to halve cost estimation expenses and speed up the process, with plans to launch its first product in August. Flex an AI mental care venture, has partnered with Vietnam's PHT Entertainment and Media to enter the mental health management market. Their focus on non-contact care and emotional data analysis technologies. They plan to roll out services like Kids Diary for preschool children and Reborn Mate for seniors, using Flex's digital human technology to monitor and screen mental disorders. Their strategy targets broader market access, including the B2C sector, with plans for eventual global expansion. Next, at the Pangyo Global Media Meetup in South Korea, Eclair unveiled a portable monitor supporting iPhone mirroring and Android DeX to boost mobile producti productivity. The event promoted interactions between local innovators and international media. Eclair CEO Jung Yoon Ji highlighted how their product enhances remote work and leisure by enabling easier multitasking and improved content viewing. At the Pangyo Global Media Meetup, Alfred Petz unveiled Etiquette, 
an eco-friendly cat litter made from coffee grounds designed for superior odor control and environmental sustainability. CEO Shin Han Kyol announced plans for a U.S. market expansion, including a crowdfunding campaign in October and partnerships with major retailers. The company aims to replace traditional clay-based litters with a health-friendly alternative. Thanks for listening. See you next week.